Imagine a world where AI can access and use external knowledge on demand, instantly generating the most accurate, up-to-date responses. Sounds like something from a science fiction novel, right? But, well, it's not science fiction anymore. These techniques makes reality possible. In this video, we are diving into two cutting-edge methods for enhancing AI-driven responses. The first one is Retrieval Augmented Generation and the second one is Cache Augmented Generation. So guys, watch this video till the end to learn more about it. Now before we move on, just a quick info guys. Simply Learn has got Artificial Intelligence Engineers Master Program in collaboration with IBM. You can earn a recognized AI engineer certification to boost your career. You're going to learn machine learning, NLP, deep learning, generative AI, and many more technologies. You are going to master in AI by doing real world projects also. And finally, you're going to earn IBM certificates and benefit from the master classes by IBM experts. So guys, hurry up now and join the course. The course link is mentioned in the description box. So let us start with first understanding what is RAG. RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation. It is a technique which is used in large language models to enhance the quality of their generated responses by incorporating external knowledge. Instead of relying solely on the data the model is actually trained on. Now, RAG dynamically retrieves relevant information from an external source, such as it could be database or search engine, and it uses that to augment the model's understanding, thus helping it to generate more accurate and more informed responses. Now, you would be wondering how exactly RAG works. So, you can see I've created a certain diagram all over here, and we are going to understand certain key parameters. Now, there are three parameters for understanding RAG. The first one is a retrieval. So when a user provides a query, the system actually searches through an external knowledge base, like it could be a vector database or index. And then it retrieves most relevant documents or text snippets related to the query. The next process is augmentation. Here, the retrieved documents or informations are appended to the user's original query. This actually provides additional context to the model, which helps in forming a more informed and detailed response. And finally, you get generation. So the language model processes the augmented query, which is the original query plus the retrieved documents, and generates a response based on both new context and its internal knowledge. Now, let us try to understand with a real world example. Now, imagine you are running an e-commerce platform and a customer contacts your support team with a question about the status of their recent order. So instead of manually searching through support tickets or frequently asked questions, RNG systems can help to streamline the process. And here, how it is going to do it. So the RNG system uses two components, the retrieval model and the generation model. First, the retrieval model searches the database or relevant documents to find the most pertinent information, such as it can be tracking details or past communication. It then essentially retrieves facts from the most accurate or recent sources like order status, shipping information, or delivery timelines. Next, what is going to happen, the generation model uses this retrieved information to generate a natural language response to the customer. It ensures that the answer is not only accurate but also conversational and it is tailored to the user's query. For example, like you might get a response something like this, so that your order number hashtag 12345 was shipped on March 28th and it is expected to arrive by March 23rd. And there will be a link, you can track it here. So you can see like how this integration of information retrieval with neutral language generation is highly efficient for both businesses and customers. And it is reducing the workload on support agents while providing real-time, precise, and human-like responses to the query. So guys, in broader sense, you can imagine that RAG has applications in industries like legal. So guys, in broader sense, you can think of RAG has applications in industries like legal research, content creation, healthcare, where it can quickly generate reports, articles, or patient-specific advice based on vast repositories of data, and all thing in real time. Now, let us understand some of the key features of RAG. So guys, the first feature is real-time retrieval. So guys, RAG enhances the language model by fetching relevant information from external sources like database or vector store. 
and real-time ensuring the model has access to up-to-date information during inference. Next is context augmentation. So here, once the relevant documents or data are retrieved, they are appended to the user's input query. This enriched context helps the model generate more accurate, informative, and contextually aware responses. The third one is dynamic knowledge integration. Here, RG integrates external knowledge dynamically, which means that it can handle situations where the model's internal knowledge might be outdated or insufficient. So here, the model can rely on real-time data for external sources to make it response more accurate. Fourth one is that you have a fact checking. Since RAG fetches real world documents to augment responses, it also offers a high level of factual accuracy, reducing the chance of hallucination, which means that incorrect or fabricated responses, when you're comparing it to models who are relying solely on training data. And finally, you have flexible query handling. So guys, RAG can handle complex multi-step questions by retrieving and combining information from various sources. This makes it suitable for tasks like multi-hop reasoning, where multiple pieces of information are needed to answer a query. So guys, these features make RAG a powerful method for integrating external knowledge into language models, improving models' accuracy, relevance, and ability to handle diverse and dynamic queries. Now, let us try to understand about what is cache augmented generation. So guys, CAG is an alternative method to retrieval augmented generation. Basically, it is used for incorporating external knowledge into large language model. So unlike RAG, which retrieves information from external database in real time, CAG preloads a curated set of relevant answers, enabling faster and more efficient inference without the need for retrieval step during runtime. Now you'd be wondering, how does CAG works? So CAG works in following ways. So guys, first, it preloads any knowledge. So before the model is used for any queries, a curated set of documents or knowledge is loaded into the model's memory, typically via a process called as pre-computing. And this knowledge is stored in a format called key value cache, where intermediate states of a knowledge are stored and can be accessed rapidly during inference. Then there is KV cache. This is where the knowledge is stored in the model's memory, making it available for quick reference during any query. So instead of fetching data on demand, the model uses preloaded knowledge stored in this cache. Then here is a streamlined inference. So when a user asks a question, the model can quickly reference the relevant knowledge which is already stored in its cache, allowing it to generate a response without waiting for any external retrieval. So you could see we have mentioned preloading knowledge is required, then pre-computing happens, then storing the given uh, key value cache, then we take the inference, and you can also do the cache reset, which is optional. Now, with this, there are certain benefits, like you get no retrieval latency, like unlike RAG, CAG is actually eliminating the need for real-time retrieval. So you get faster response times. Next, you also get a simpler pipeline. Since there is no need to maintain an external database or perform retrieval steps, the system is simpler to manage and require less computational overhead. And finally, you get unified context. The model can process all the relevant information at once, enhancing reasoning abilities, especially for multi-hop questions, like the questions which are requiring information from multiple sources. But still there are certain challenges which this model, like uh, the context size limit, you know, the model's context window is finite only, so only a limited amount of information can be preloaded. Here you get upfront computation where like pre-computing and storing KV cache also requires significant upfront computational resources. And finally, you get stale data, meaning that if the knowledge base changes frequently, means like breaking news or any, any you know, real-time event, then the cache may become outdated and updating the cache can be an additional overhead. So with all the plus, there is also some minus with this, but uh, that's uh, you know how exactly CAG is working. Now, you could see we have mentioned certain key features like we have preloaded knowledge, we have KV cache, we get faster inference because here we are eliminating the need for real-time document retrieval then you are also getting no retrieval latency. So like uh, what happens in RAG, like where each query is going to trigger a retrieval process and that is going to introduce a latency. So here CAG's approach ensures that there is no delay caused by waiting 
or for external information then it is consistent across all queries meaning that since the model references the same preloaded cache for every query it also ensures consistent responses across multiple interactions so these were some of the key features of CAG now let us discuss about some of the key differences between RAG and CAG so we have chosen four parameters to assess the differences the first one is data retrieval so if we look into RAG so we get to know that RAG is performing a real-time retrieval of documents or information from any external source. It could be a vector database, you know, at the time of the given query. Then you could see if we talk about CAG, then here CAG actually pre roads the entire knowledge base or relevant documents into the model's memory up front. So there is no need for real-time retrieval during inference. Next one is latency. So RAG has high latency because it retrieves data in real time before generating the answer. So it can slow down response times. Then next is CAG. So CAG means lower latency because all the required knowledge is preloaded and stored in the cache. So responses can be generated with much faster without waiting for any external retrieval. If you talk about systems complexity, I would say RAG is more complex since it requires maintaining an external retrieval system which could be a database or index you know it could be anything and it continuously updates the documents or knowledge base whereas if we talk about CAG it is kind of simpler it avoids the need for external retrieval systems and it relies on a pre-computed key value cache making the system easier to maintain and finally if we talk about data freshness guys then we all know that RAG can handle dynamic frequently updated data since it fetches the latest information in real time but if i talk about cag guys it is best suited for static or stable knowledge bases since the data is already preloaded it might not reflect the most recent changes unless the cache is updated periodically so these differences make rag ideal for scenarios where data is constantly changing or too large to load into a memory while if we talk about CAG, it is more efficient for use case with stable and well-defined knowledge. So I hope so guys would have got a brief idea regarding RAG and CAG and their key differences. But that was all for today's video. I hope so you would have enjoyed our today's video on RAG versus CAG. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope so you would have enjoyed our today's video on RAG versus CAG. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.